This is a 980 nanometers 4-in-1 multifunctional laser therapeutic instrument, which has the functions of removing red blood, removing gray nails, pain physiotherapy and surgery. This multifunctional physiotherapy head can be widely used in various kinds of pain and relieve muscle and tendon diseases. The disposable optical fiber treatment needle can accurately locate and directly hit the fat cells in the target tissue and quickly dissolve and liquefy. The operation function must be operated by a professional doctor. Now let's introduce the installation and operation process of 980 nanometers 4 in one multifunctional laser therapeutic instrument. This is the host. This is the foot switch. And this is the power cord universal in the world. This is an optical fiber hand tool. And these are two treatment heads for removing red blood filaments, two different shapes, one straight head and one elbow, which can be selected according to personal habits. This is the treatment head of pain physiotherapy. This is the treatment head of onychomycosis. This is the focusing ring used to adjust the size of the light spot by 0.2 mm to 3 mm. The thicker the focusing ring is used, the larger the light spot is. This is the laser glasses which the operator should wear. And this is the eye mask which is worn for the customer. This is the surgical optical fiber. The optical fiber is consumable and disposable. This is the operating handle, which is used in conjunction with the surgical optical fiber. Screw down the surgical handle from the middle end of the handle, insert the optical fiber from the tail of the handle, and then insert it into the needle at the front end of the handle. Tighten it. At this time, the optical fiber can be moved. Tighten the tail of the handle to lock the optical fiber. However, do not use excessive force to prevent breaking of optical fiber. Connect the power cord to the power socket. Connect the foot wire to the foot socket. When connected, the machine can be switched on without adding water. There is no consumable material and no gel is needed. Now turn on. The instrument loads automatically into the main interface. There are four buttons in the main page. Click on them to remove red blood silk page, pain physiotherapy page, gray nail page and fat dissolving page. Click the red blood removing button to enter the red blood removing operation page and click the back button to return to the main page. The interface is very simple. There are three parameters in total. This is power. This is pulse width. And this is frequency. Click the plus and dash buttons to adjust the parameters. This power value is the amount of energy output by the laser. When operating on the skin, this value is too small to work. If it is too large, it will burn and blister. The common range is 6 to 12 watts. The pulse width is the time that the laser stays on the skin, with a minimum of 15 milliseconds and a maximum of 100 milliseconds. When operating on the skin, the value is too small and does not work. When it is too large, the pain will increase and blister. The common range is 30 to 60 milliseconds. Using red blood silk treatment head which is used to remove red blood silk. The most commonly used focusing ring is 0.5 millimeters. If the red blood silk is thick then change into the thick focusing ring. When pain physiotherapy is needed. The pain treatment head is need to replace without the focus ring, enter the operation interface of pain physiotherapy. The interface operation method is the same as that of red blood silk. In pain physiotherapy, the power is usually between 15 watts and 20 watts. The pulse width is usually between 30 milliseconds and 40 milliseconds. 
Frequency values are usually 2 to 3 Hz. This is continuous output mode. This is pulse output mode. And only pulse mode is required for red blood filament treatment. For other operations such as gray nail, you can select the continuous mode as required. In this mode, you must pay attention to prevent scalding. After the continuous mode is started, the pulse width and frequency cannot be adjusted, only the power parameters can be adjusted. The hand tool is vertically aligned with the part requiring physical therapy. With a distance of about 1 cm, the physical therapy part will feel hot by spiral irradiation. The specific treatment time shall be subject to whether it is warm or not and acceptable to the customer. In the process of treatment, it is necessary to constantly ask the customer's feelings and the degree of tolerance. If the parameters are inappropriate, release the foot pedal. Click the pause button to return to the standby state and adjust the parameters. For example, increase the energy a little, or increase the pulse width a little. And click start again to retreat. This is the operation method of pain physiotherapy. When removing the gray nail, replace the gray nail physiotherapy head and tighten it with a 0.2 mm focusing ring. The power value is usually between 15 watts and 20 watts. The pulse width value is usually between 20 milliseconds and 40 milliseconds. Frequency values are usually 2 to 3 hertz. The laser starts to output, the lens is aimed at the sick nail to be irradiated. And the vertical distance is 1 cm. The nail will feel hot in a spiral way. The specific treatment time shall be subject to whether it is warm or not and acceptable to the customer. In the process of treatment, it is necessary to constantly ask the customer's feelings and the degree of tolerance. This is the operation method of removing gray nails. When replacing the optical fiber, be sure to operate in a standard way. Pay special attention to the following matters. The laser burning caused by non-standard operation is not within the scope of warranty. 1. The lipolytic fiber is easy to break. So don't fold it in half when laying. It is forbidden to pile up and press articles on the optical fiber. It is forbidden to step on it. It is necessary to handle it with care. And it is forbidden to pull it hard. 2. When replacing the surgical optical fiber. Make sure that the surrounding environment is clean and operate in a dust-free environment as far as possible. Wash and dry your hands and quickly replace them. In this process, there should be no dust pollution to the laser and optical fiber port. If there is dust or stain on the optical fiber port, the optical fiber head must be wiped clean with professional optical fiber wiping paper or cleaning cloth. 3. Gently unscrew the optical fiber protective cap of the optical fiber port and the optica. L fiber output port of the instrument. Insert the optical fiber into the optical fiber output port of the instrument. Be sure to tighten it. But do not use too much force. Do not touch the laser output port and optical fiber port during connection, 4. Before starting up. Make sure that the optical fiber and the host are correctly connected. When the optical fiber cap on the host is not unscrewed, do not output the laser. The interface is very simple. There are three parameters in total. Click the plus and dash buttons to adjust the parameters. This is the power, which is the size of energy. Generally, the maximum value is used. This is the pulse width. The pulse width is the time that the laser stays on the skin. Generally, the maximum value is used. This is the frequency. The frequency is the number of lasers emitted by the laser per second. Generally, the maximum value is used. This bulb is aiming light. Click this button to adjust the aiming light brightness. The first gear is weak and the third gear is particularly bright. Generally, the third gear is selected. 
This is the energy count emitted by the laser after the power on. It will be cleared automatically after the power off. This is the total energy count sent by this instrument, which needs to be cleared manually. Click the start button. Step on the foot pedal and the laser starts to output. Release the pedal and the laser output stops. About the working mode of laser, here is pulse output mode. And here is continuous output mode. In pulse mode, the pulse width and frequency can be adjusted. In continuous mode, the pulse width and frequency cannot be adjusted, only the power parameters can be adjusted. The maximum power in this mode is smaller than that in pulse mode. After use, be sure to install protective sleeves on the laser output port and optical fiber port to prevent dust pollution. The optical fiber port and the laser outlet of the host shall not be exposed at any T. IME